Uh, what are we looking at today? We have uh, temperatures. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Cloudy and then it's sun really at the, the end of the day. It's really the same thing. Back we to looked you. At, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. it. No, it, it's, it's very much thing. the same. Here's what's a little different. We have uh, the potential mm -hmm. for maybe a little bit of shower activity up there. Already seeing some of the Tehachapi range. Otherwise, uh, temperatures running below average. Let's take a look and see what things look like from our mountain communities. There it is, Big Bear right now. And we are above the clouds, where it's really nice up in the mountain communities. We haven't had to deal with much of that marine layer. 65 degrees. We are actually getting some clearing out by the beach, clearing before we get that clearing inland. Boy, that has been the, the story for the past several days. So let's get right to it and see what we have temperature-wise today. I've got 60s for your highs, upper 60s, 68 degrees in Winchester, 66 in Victorville, 40s, upper 40s for Big Bear, and then we're into the basin and the beaches where it's the 60s as well. Uniform temperatures from east to west and north to south. And that really is just because of that marine layer. So we're looking at 69 for a high, 57 the low, 75 and 58 are your average numbers where we should be for this time of year. Yet another day below average. We're going to get some clearing, mix of clouds and some sunshine in the afternoon hours, and a little bit of instability out there. And there, that's where that shower chance comes in. We've got temperatures that will be running below average as we make our way into the weekend. And beyond, even into the holiday, things start to warm up, but we really don't tap into the warmer air until the middle of next week. I want to show you the future cast and give you an idea of how the clouds are going to shape up. There's a little bit of the moisture that we we're talking about. Could see a passing shower this evening up in our mountain communities. It looks like a lot of that activity is going to be off to the east. Otherwise, here's your marine layer again tomorrow morning, moving into the San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita Valley, the Inland Empire as well, getting a little cloudy and then clearing out as we make our way into the afternoon hours. Probably not as much of a chance for uh, a passing shower as it is today. The reason for that shower chance is you have this low in place. There's a little lift and moisture associated with it. Watch how it moves out. Now, we're still troughy, as I say, because we still have this broad trough along the west coast. You see how it doesn't change all that much? We're going to get a little northwest flow here and may pop the temperature up a degree or two, but there's not going to be much of a change until we start getting this high pressure to start nudging over. You sort of see how it stays pretty consistent here. This is Friday at 1130 and still not much of a change. Going to have to wait until Monday, Tuesday, Memorial Day, and then Tuesday when we start to see that high pressure build in and things warming. So it's 50s overnight tonight, 56 in Fullerton, 57 in Long Beach, and 58 in Venice. Daytime highs tomorrow getting up into the 70s. So uh, maybe a degree or two of warming, 71 as opposed to the 69 degrees that we have today. I've got 73 in La Puente, 75 for Ontario. So some of those 60s, we're going to transform those into 70s tomorrow. Uh, but still staying a good two, three degrees below average there. Uh, as you see along the forecast, we get to Memorial Day there and it's 75. The holiday's looking pretty good. That's about average for this time of year. Then tapping into that Tuesday and Wednesday warmer air, 80 degrees by next Wednesday. Back to you.